the left off is an author of that paper. And everyone makes a noise for Dr. Rod Stones. The first deaths from these vaccine-induced thrombotic clotting complications arose and they had to stop the trial. Well, that's not my idea of safety. And so if the MHRA had only authorised these on hand, then properly monitored them after they'd received them and carried on monitoring them properly and hadn't cancelled the control arm of the trials, for example, which, and then call all the yellow cards coincidence, if they'd done their job properly, then many of the vaccine injured who are here today are those... Hey guys, please, we've got to make noise. We won't be able to do this anymore. So for the people around the world that make such a difference to our lives, just to keep this going. But I'd like to thank a couple of amazing people that gave me a voice, but also encouraged me right from the, my darkest days. Um, a lady called Martha, Karen, Sasha, Natasha, Jules, and Stacy. Most of those are also vaccine injured, but they still found the time to help me keep going. Thank you. There never was the evidence to support their use. 
I am a scientist, I am a doctor, and I know this, and you can trust me. I admire the courage of those who have been bereaved and who have been vaccine injured and who have come today to the squares or are watching online to show their support and also to applaud the families who are supporting their friends and families who have been injured. Your support is so important, your support and compassion. Without you, we, we cannot um, you know, raise awareness and, uh, and this is really what's needed at this time. I know for people who have been injured, sometimes it feels so hopeless and you might feel so weak that you don't even know what to do. It's hard to read something. But I want to say that the World Council for Health was established in September 2021 to do just that, to support people at the grassroots, to support you and your families, to help you get uh, science and information that is not corrupted by conflicts of interest. The information comes from the grassroots. We are funded by public donations from people like you and me. So you can trust our information. We are uh, updating our guidance on how to detox and treat vaccine injury as the evidence emerges from doctors and scientists at the front line who are treating and helping people with vaccine injury. So please do visit our website, worldcouncilforhealth.org, and you can search vaccine and you'll get a wealth of information from, from uh, interviews, protocols, and, and audio. If you're not feeling well enough, listen to the audio, look at the detox protocols, ask your relatives and friends to help you get the the supplements and things that can help boost your immune system and uh, support you on your healing journey. Seen or spike protein, don't worry, there are solutions. And uh, really, we need to step away from fear, take control, take responsibility for our own health, find a trustworthy practitioner who can guide you back to health. But Fiona has always looked after me. And I knew my mother-in-law would be right here, standing with me too. I also get such a great reception at these rallies. Everyone is so supportive and the crowd recharges me. I can feel the pure energy from everyone. So thank you to Fiona, to Truth Be Told, to my in-laws and to you all for allowing me to speak once again. Across this, uh, this, this, this square, I see the lions and they remind me that the truth is like a lion. The, I don't have to protect the truth, it's a lion. It can look after itself. All we have to do with the truth is to set it free. That's what we have to do. Make some noise, guys. This is about making noise. That's a line of peace. And I thought we were legislating for the people to make your lives better. What we've got now is, is a parliament that, that inflicts laws upon the people. We don't legislate for the people anymore. The power is yours. The sovereignty is yours. It's not this generation or that parliament to give away sovereignty to the WHO or anybody else. We know that from the referendum. You're going to have to take back the control. There's, there's no doubt about that. Now, I'm, for the last six months, I've only ever spoke to an empty room. I had the pleasure of, um, of going over and speaking at a conference three weeks ago in North. Trust the experts, trust the science. Trust the science. No? So the experts told us, the experts told us we all need to get tested. We need to get tested. We need to get a PCR test, a lateral flow test. It, however, because of because of Elon, 
Elon the merciful, Elon the compassionate. I'm uh, I'm back on Twitter again. But guess what? I got contacted by a journalist afterwards. His name was Matt Taibbi. And he said, Pat, you're in the Twitter files. Did you know that? And I said, get that one removed. Take that tweet down. Take that account down. They're, they're violating COVID misinformation rules. So my rights were denied because of a collusion between government and big tech. Your rights were denied. Your, your God-given rights. In the U.S., it's our constitutional rights. Denied. That's a violation of your rights. That's illegal by law. Private company, it doesn't matter. Government, lose it. If you're on social media, make noise. This issue, this is the issue of our time. This is the issue of our time. These people out here, these are real people. Real harms have been done. And yet the government wants to pass an online harms legislation to keep people from harming each other or offending each other. I don't see this issue in any of the mainstream papers. They blackballed it, the entire thing. Meanwhile, the government's busy trying to ramp up, escalate towards World War III right now. Why? It's a beautiful distraction away from the real carnage that happened over the last three years. Now speaking, she's a teacher and she has lost so much faith in what she does because she really, truly knows what's going on. And I know that you guys know what I'm saying. She knows what the system is. And she's joined us, she's vaccine injured and she stands with us. So I want everyone to make some noise. Yeah.